Hey guys, Jamie Otis here, The Chef's Connection. I'm sitting here with executive chef Michelle Duran of Sushi Samba. And the biggest thing that we want to talk to you about is the fact that you went from pastry chef to executive chef. How did that happen for you? Uh, actually, it was kind of a transition. It just happened. Um, just started doing a little things here and there. And before you knew it, I was kind of here. <laughs> so you went Not from making... Quickly, but... <laughs> <laughs> you went from making you know, pastries and yummy treats to controlling the whole entire kitchen. That is a huge thing. Well, now that you put it that way, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize. Uh, yeah, actually, um, I started doing pastry for Sushi Samba back about three years ago. And it just naturally, you know, I'm a team player, so everybody needed help. I just, hey, what are you doing? Like, I'll help you. I'll do this. Um, hey, do you need help on the line? Sure, I can cook. Why not? Like, <laughs> I can try. Um, but it just sort of happened, um, kind of, they needed a hand, and I was just like, I can help you guys out for the meantime. And then I started, one sous chef left, so I was like, oh, I can help you while he's here, and you find somebody. And then they found somebody, and they were like, well, now we need help at the other location. Do you want to go there? I was like, Sure, I'll go there, and then Seventh Avenue being because there's the two locations. So I came to Seventh Avenue, and then I was just kind of like, oh, "Okay, what do you need? I can, I can do this. I can do this." And then before you knew it, they were like, "Well, you kind of are doing it. So do you want to do a tasting?" And I was just like, "For what? Like dessert menu? Sure." They were like, "No, like savory." And I was just like, "Oh, I think I can manage." And we did a tasting. They liked it, it and was so natural. Scary. Like it, I did it, and it felt right. And I was, and I just been doing it. I've been doing it for uh, over a year now. That is so incredible, especially being a woman. I feel like, you know, let's just be honest, like, you know, you're, first of all, you're very young, only 28 years old, and you already accomplished this much, and you're a woman, and so when you're in the kitchen, you know, you probably have men who are a little older than you, and you have to be like, hey, listen, you go and cook that meal. <laughs> how do they, how do they handle that? I, it's, it's, it was hard. It was really hard, I think, even for myself, because, um, I was like scared. I was just yeah. like, oh God, like you're older than me and you've been doing this for how long? Like, yeah. and I'm just switching over to savory and like, I'm like, here, you do this, <laughs> you do that. Like, no, I said, do it this way. You know, um, especially here because we have so many people that have been with the company such a long time. So everybody set to their ways and here you come and you're like, nope, that's not the way that I want to do it. <laughs> But, but, you know, um, I think when you explain it, you know, and not just, hey, I don't want you to do it this way because I said so right, and I'm right. in charge. More like, I don't want you to do it this way because if you do it this way, it comes out better. The end result is better. And explaining to them the actual reason as opposed to, and then it's like, oh, okay, thanks, chef. I understand now, you know? Yeah, you seem like a really likable person. So easy to work for, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I guess maybe behind the behind the kitchen, behind the line. I'm a Gemini, so I am too. <laughs> oh, really? So there's two sides of us. <laughs> exactly. There's the really nice, and then there's the, the I, I get to work. Probably younger than most of my staff, mm -hmm. and I'm also the only girl in my staff. So it's kind of like, well, like how tough can you really be? And I was like, oh, you, you don't want to, you don't want to see that. You don't want to mess with me. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. That's really what it turns out to be. You Actually, know, sometimes I do pretend to be in a bad mood just because they work better. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's like kind of like on judge. So everybody's like really quiet and prepping. And then it's like kind of nice. And then I say something stupid to ruin it. And then they're like, oh, really? She's just messing really with us. Really try to keep a really positive working environment just in general for everybody. I think, um, when you have a happy kitchen, it really shows in yeah. the food, it shows yeah. in the quality, experience, everything. And it's your job. You're here so often. Why not be happy rather than I miserable? Here. I really do. Like, I really, like, I think I spend more time here than I do at home. Actually, that is a fact because <laughs> if you calculate the time that I spend here and the time it takes me to get home, by the time I actually get home, I'm only spending like five hours there. And it's to like, sleep? That's it? What is one yeah. of your favorite dishes? That you've created uh right now it's really probably the cauliflower and the wings Ooh. those two and it's like really weird because the cauliflower is very it's so simple that you're like well why do you want to get cauliflower you know it's just okay. cauliflower um and then the wings it's everybody's like well it's just wings like what's well, just 
you know, they're yeah. two, but that's what I is love. It, do they go together or is yeah. it two different, it's two different <laughs> dishes? Is that, but I want them together, come to think about it. Hey, you know, a little meat, a little exactly. vegetable. So the, the, the cauliflower, it's a roasted garlic cauliflower. Mm, that sounds so How did you learn how to do all of this? You're so young. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of books, a lot of YouTube, a lot of videos, a lot of other chefs. Like, it's really, like, I didn't even realize how important it was to really start before I was like oh I don't get what's the point of like all these blogs and like all these websites like I don't want to know and then as soon as you realize how useful they are and intellectual so many so many chefs have so many amazing blogs and you're like oh wow like I can't believe he did that like how amazing is it that he posted and now I know how to do this and you know a lot of videos a lot of like books especially books um I spend probably a good amount of my salary on books <laughs> like really important to just a lot of reading and a lot of research you know a, a lot you so that's why it's like you spend even on my days off it's like I kind of come here and go on the computer go on I have my own little library <laughs> just kind of like go through my books and Honestly, do a lot of research. I'm it's like so incredibly inspiring that you I mean truly that you're 28 years old you're a woman and you are practically self-taught like your work ethic is like absolutely phenomenal seriously <laughs> thank you yeah well I did I went to when I went to culinary school I did baking and pastry because I really refused I was like my my family owned a business um for about 10 to 15 years and they the restaurant was just my thing I always knew this is this is what I was going to be doing like no doubt in my mind but they all worked long hours uh -huh. the only days we had off was Christmas, New Year's, and Good Friday because we grew up Catholic, and that was it. Those were the three days off you had, and I was just like, that sucks. Yeah. Like, who wants to work all those hours? And here you are. <laughs> <laughs> here I am. And I was just like, I didn't want to do that. And so I was very particular when I went to school. I said, they were like, well, what are you going to do? Like, there's culinary arts and there's baking and pastry. I was like, baking and pastry, oh, I still do the pastry menu, too, because it's just one of the things I really can't give up. It's kind of easy it's just like well yeah. this woman's running the whole entire show you come here you're eating her food <laughs> the pastries the appetizers the savory everything yeah that's pretty much what it's uh, what it comes down to at this point but it's it's good um you know it's nice to still be able to do that because it's really what you I love just thought of because you're the chef you can run a special like something that you really want to eat yourself I do. <laughs> That's usually what ends up happening. I'm like, hmm, what am I in the mood for today? Oh, let's make that a special that I get to eat it. Because like, <laughs> exactly. That's awesome. How about uh, family? Are you dating anybody? Are you interested in kids someday? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Um, I'm not dating anybody. She's single. If you like a woman in charge. <laughs> Or if you have time to come to the restaurant. <laughs> if you want to marry into Sushi Samba, she's your girl. <laughs> what are some of your favorite restaurants that you go to? Well, talking about the burger, which I had earlier. That was today? <laughs> oh, no. I just had to have another one today. <laughs> we just had, um, it's the new burger place, Umami Burger. I've, I've heard of it. It's so, oh, my God. It's, I think it's from Cali or somewhere. It's just so delicious. Yeah. I can't get enough of it. Really what kind of burger is it? Um, well, I keep getting the Manly burger, so if that tells you anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like it's like bacon, and it has like caramelized onions, and it has some kind of cheese, which I can't figure out. I think it's just cheddar, but it's just like melted in there and gooey. It's just delicious. Oh, that does sound and yummy. It's, it's like a potato bun, and then they put a U on it, so it's like they have like so this brand it. Yes, with a U, <laughs> and it's just delicious. <laughs> That sounds phenomenal. <laughs> you and all. I know. Um, but I really like small place. Like I like like tapas. Like I really like um, Alta. It's one of my favorites. Do you like like um, shopping for bags and shoes? And oh boy, sounds like you have a stash. <laughs> <laughs> I recently discovered shopping, and like I mean, really discovered for more than just like work and books and things. Yes, exactly. I I just didn't. I I'm like no words for it. I really I went on a shopping spree. I went to Macy's. 
and my mom was so excited because I hate. Oh, my little girl's being a yeah. girl. <laughs> exactly. I hate shopping. What I was on your Christmas cool. list. Um, besides the boyfriend. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I I know some single men. Just saying. Oh really? You should bring them by. I should. Thank you so much for taking some time out of this busy, busy schedule that you have to sit down with Chef's Connection and chat with us. Sure. It was fun. We have to do this again. Oh, of course. Anytime. Just come back tomorrow. We'll, we'll come back tomorrow. This can be your new, your new like uh, spree. It can be Chef's Connection spree. Awesome. Your parent, your parents will thank us. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs>